y'all a lot. I'm so glad spring break is close. I wanna go home. Next weekend is the last weekend before spring break and I'm working Safe Ride one night and I'm on rounds the other night, so I get no weekend. TV shows. I was really behind on the shows that I am watching, but on Saturday, I think, I just sat down, well, I laid down, lied down, lay down, and I just watched TV on my computer for hours. I caught up on Glee. I think I was two episodes behind. I'm almost caught up on Project Runway. I watched like two or three episodes. So that took a while. Yeah, those are the shows I'm watching. But also, you know what else I'm gonna watch this week? I'm going to watch this show Eastwick. It's been on ABC for a couple weeks now, but um, Darren Chris, who plays Harry in the Harry Potter musical, he's gonna be on it. Isn't that exciting? Hey, Lena, I don't mean to like keep asking you these, but do you have this song? No, 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 no. I might have already told you this one. I don't know. Today I got our yearbook, except Dan's team isn't in it, and I think that I was the one responsible for turning that in last year, but I totally emailed it in on time. Totally did, I swear. Emily. Yeah, we have this too. So I've been using these since last year. When I made the video, I had discovered a tall one, and it was like the size of a real cup, and it said on it, corn cup you know, the way that yours did. And I was like, wow, a cup made of corn. And then it took me like, another month to realize that these little guys are also made of corn. See, because it's printed much smaller. This environmentally sustainable cup is made entirely from plants. Almost every time that I leave the dining hall, I get one of these. My place, dining hall, they like m mash up M&Ms and like Heath bars and stuff. And so I, I put some in there and then I take them and I just eat them when I leave. So this is like a week's worth of snacks for me. And I just saved them so I can recycle them. I really want to go home. I don't know if it's because like I had a job this summer and that's never happened before, but I just want to go and chill. I'm not going to put another challenge out there because I'm still behind on my challenges. I challenge myself to clean my room. If you guys want to do that too, it's cool. You should. A clean room makes for like a clean mind. Oh, another thing that happened was on Friday we had convocation. So that was like our 42nd Street performance thing. And guess what I found out? The director guy, Mark Bramble. Last time I told you about this, I didn't know quite what his involvement with 42nd Street was. He wrote the book. So he wrote all the words that aren't sung. And he directed the revival of 42nd Street. And he's been nominated for Tonys and stuff and won like big awards. Yeah, so he's like even flyer than I thought. He's such a cool guy, he's so cool. I was just about to say, happy Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And then I was like, wait, is that this month? But it is because stuff's all around, you know? There's like pink bows all over my school. They're everywhere. And then I was like, October. Okay, so October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Then I was like, that's my birthday. How have I never noticed that before? And then I was like, ooh, pink is the breast cancer color. And then, now I can't remember what it is. What's my birthstone? Is it opal? Opals are white. My birthstone is some pink stone. Pink. Isn't it weird that every month has like two birthstones? You know what I mean? Like, I have opal, but I also have this pink thing. They're like by two different cultures or something. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for sitting through this. You guys are good friends. I miss you all. I hope to see you soon. Bye! What I go to school for.